you know, telling everybody, oh, I was married before and divorced. Okay. So it's like a bad name. I was telling them that I don't think you have to. Tight. Al Muhim, brother who was married for a very really short period of time. And he's trying to get married now and as if he has a tarnished name. You were married for a week, for a day, for 24 hours. You had a, a quick, <laughs> simple marriage. A couple of months. Huh? A couple of months. Whatever it may be. Like you're a bad person. First of all is that we can't generalize things, guys. Someone who's married for a long time, it could be a good thing. And it could be a horrible thing. Just because you're married for years doesn't mean you're a good person. And just because you're married for a short period of time doesn't mean you're what? A bad person. It does not mean... Can it mean with certain people in certain situations? No doubt. You're reckless. You're irresponsible. Who did you marry? What did you know about the sister? What ha you married for two hours. What happened? No doubt. But if you're married for 50 years, it may be an abusive relationship. It may be 50 years of you not giving this woman her rights. 50 years you sleeping in a different bed. 50 years you cheating. A long while. Just because you're married for a long time doesn't mean it was a healthy marriage. Doesn't mean what? It was a healthy marriage. So that's the reality. Oftentimes, marriages that go on for years are unhealthy. And everyone has health issues in their marriage. Everyone has problems. We're talking about what? A sickly person in which their sickness is much more than their what? Their health. A marriage which is full of drama and full of problems, abuse, lack of rights. And there's major, 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 major issues going on in this marriage for years in which the spouses don't care or one spouse doesn't care. It doesn't mean it's a good thing for it to be together. Rather, they may be recommended for them to divorce. And if you had a quick situation, that could be a good thing. Because alhamdulillah, you removed yourself from it. You weren't, you weren't captured by attachment. She's a nice sister. She looks beautiful, but she's no good for me. I got to go. She doesn't want to pray. It doesn't matter how beautiful she is. What? Peace. So sometimes that's a virtue. Because hmm? many men or women, they can't bounce back. They, can, they aren't flexible. They get into a situation that's what? That's it. Kalas. You don't see the brother in the match. No more. It's gone. What happened to Fulan? He got married. Oh, class. This was in the Islam University of Medina. What like? When a student was missing or a student was late, they said, where's Fulan in the class? He says, Tazowaj. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he said got married, the shit would say, ah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and move on to the next student. What like? So, this is reality. I mean, you got to be mindful of this. I'm not making this up. What <laughs> like? When he's going to see marriage, does he have to? Just keep it real. Does he have to I was married for two months and this is why. If he's a good brother... And he has a good reason. No good sister is going to reject him because of that. Even if it was a bad reason. If he's a good person now, Bismillah. 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 Now obviously people have resumes, of course. Things look bad on your resume. But a, a, a real good employer, he's going to look at you as a person. What could you bring to my company? Oh, you had a bad situation. Everyone goes through things. You got into a fight. You knocked out your manager. All right, no problem. I'll hire you. Really. It's reality. You see what I'm saying too? Because it may be a, a, a manager or a boss who's, who's a jerk. Abusive. And you, you know, everyone goes through what? Bad situations. Or even being incarcerated. Just because you're incarcerated does not mean you're a bad person. It does not mean that. That's a stereotype. And it's one of the most awful things with the modern system today. You go to jail for doing something illegal. You come out. No one wants to hire you. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, as if the system is made for you to fail again. What do you have to be left? I wonder if it's a cultural issue. Like, uh, he can't get married because he's been married. So culture, I mean... Uh, like, Al-Muhim, culture is culture. Akhi, there's no doubt. Like we said before, the culture today among many Muslims, it's not in accordance to the deen or to common sense. It's not in lines with the Quran and Sunnah or the, the, the current world today, unfortunately. So, Al-Muhim, the Arabs of old, in the time of the Prophet, when a woman got divorced, why do you think the whole ruling of the Idda is there? Three minces, one minces, because what? She can what? Get remarried. And in most cases, she's going to what? Get remarried. And she needs to get remarried, or he needs to get remarried. So, the whole concept of the Idda period, it sounds strange today. You may be counseling a sister, and you say, after this, this menstruation, you're, you know, oh, she's like, I'm not thinking about getting married. Or the brother says, no, you can't get married. If you get married, such and such. Yani, it's not, Islam is not what? It's not like that. As soon as the menses is over, as soon as the four months and ten days is over, she can what? Because marriage, then, and even now, but then it was a necessity. Life was hard and difficult. Uh, many women back in the day, 
they were they would they would welcome a second wife. They were welcoming. They would they would love a second wife because a second wife means a woman that would take the burden off of her and help her milk cows and goats and, and, and sow and stitch and raise children and and with the man, his needs. Burying a child, breastfeeding a child, being pregnant, breastfeeding was hard. So they would welcome a, 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 a second wife. But obviously life now is what? Totally different. You have a refrigerator, you have a freezer, you have an oven, you have a microwave, you have a smartphone, Uber Eats, you can call and get food, whatever you want. It's, life is very different now, unfortunately. And Lala's best.